This is not making sense. All right, how do I, look, when I started doing the wave videos and no, actually this is before I started recording haircut tutorials or at least putting it out there. I was always recording haircut tutorials, but I was never confident enough to drop them. All right, so that one day it came, I seen a waver from afar exiting his car and walking close to the barber shop. I saw the do-rag and I thought to myself, this guy's coming my way and I've never seen him before. I was not okay with posting anything that had to do with cutting hair at that time. I did not want to even touch it. Like I was just like, no, I don't want to record my haircuts, guys. Pero tú sabes qué, mi gente? Uh, in life, if you don't if you don't strive to get uncomfortable at times or as often as possible to grow, you're just going to stagnate, right? I'm pretty familiar with stagnation. It sucks, but we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about growth, and that's where Sean comes in. See, I recorded him twice. The first time, it went directly to his channel, and uh the second time wasn't too long ago. It was still a while ago, but it wasn't too long ago. It was it's recent. It's some it's good stuff. This is where it comes together. I'm going to show you the growth in Cutting Sean and also the pet peeves that I had with Cutting Sean. Jay hits finna drop the Look, Sean, guys, just, I'm acting like I'm talking to Sean right now, just bear with me. But look, Sean, this, I'm talking to the first time I recorded you. Sean, what do you want? What what kind of, what kind of haircut do you want? What can I do for you? You know what Sean t says back to me? Shadow Faye, Shadow Taper, at that. He's from New York. I don't know, I don't know. Look, I, I'm looking at him like, I would love to do a bald fade. But, tu sabes que, mi gente, when you cut somebody for the first few times, you just wanna do what they want until they're comfortable enough to uh, to to give you full freedom to suggest what you want to do. But I do it anyways. Okay. Now, ahora, this is the second time I record him. I had already cut him a few times, but this, this was the first time he said, you know what, man, um, I want to switch it up. The moment he said, I want to switch it up, I said, ball taper, let's do it. Like I was ready. I was so convinced to convince him. Now, I gotta say this. I hope you guys are noticing a big difference between image number one and image number two. Tu sabes lo que yo estoy notando? I am noticing this. Las canas. Do you know what las canas son? Let me tell you what una cana es. They're stubborn. They're tough to blend into. They're just an all around pain in the ass. I'm talking about them gray hairs. And when it's curly gray hair, bro, we talking a whole nother story. And then we're cutting a waiver at that? That one's a, a, a shadow taper? Look, all I'm saying is it didn't make it any easier that he had gray hairs. But when he came around the second, for the second recording though, my man must have hit that just for men. Jet black. Cause it's a big difference as you can see. Canas, no canas. Salt and pepper, jet black. Sean, thank you. So right before I start this fading process on this taper, I made sure that I at least debolted enough to see what I'm about to do. I don't really like starting off the no guard fading process uh, if there's too much going on right above it. If it's too long, I like to lighten it up a little bit. So, so the highest guard that I used was a two with the grain. For some reason, I was a little paranoid, a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I grabbed the four, which I, 
honestly there's no reason to grab the four i think it great i think it cut just a little bit um and you know waivers you know they're very picky i, I know this well i probably was the least pickiest waiver but that's not that's not that's neither here or there i i was you know i'm, I'm all about being playing it safe at first and so after the four which really wasn't that necessary at all you know i, I went for the three and the three think about it like this guys if you're going with the grain and you want to come back and go against the grain you got to go a guard higher than that and it tends to even out Okay, shout outs to uh, Dre's Clippers because uh, if I'm if I'm seeing these, that means that mine died, and uh, you know I've I've been struggling here and there with my uh, wall Clippers, uh, my seniors, my cordless seniors, and um, you know they're a little outdated, and I think I gotta send them out to wall see what's up. It might be the motor. I've even had to bring out my cordless seniors. I have to make a video on that. Uh, I know Rum Barber, they uh, they wanted me to try out using the quarter clippers or like the first clippers that I ever used which I can't use those because they're pretty much broken and I'm not trying to spend any money any money any money any money any money on uh god I gotta get better at speaking I gotta get uh, I got I gotta let go of my ways of my ratchet ways of speaking I gotta let go of it I'm trying I'm trying god I mean I you me I mean well would you look at that I thought I was getting close to being done with the taper, and I'm not done with the taper. Tu sabes por qué? Because I was not sure from the get. I was not sure from the get. So I'm, I'm, I'm working double shifts on this one, guys. We're going to bring the taper up some more. Some more. Because I was scared. You could tell. Look at all the back and forth I'm doing. Don't make sense. I could have I just brought the three a little bit higher. Look. Look at all that extra work I'm doing. Just because I was unsure of what I was doing. Unsure of myself. This is what happens. You do more. You do unnecessary things, guys. But let's not stay in the past. Let's look towards the future. What are we doing here? I lined up those areas with a with a one and a half babbless guard. You know, I like to keep it a little, a little tighter around that area. Because if you keep that area the same length as everything else, it's just not going to look tight. I'm telling you, you want it shorter. You might want to go back to that taper though, Fonz. It's looking a little dark in some areas. I hope you go back. Oh, and when you use the one and a half guard, don't go too high because you're going to take away from the wave pattern. And wavers don't like that at all. They want to keep as much of the pattern as possible. So you got to work with that in mind. I don't know why I held on to that thought so long, but it's lo que quería decir, pero que entiendo. And go with the grain first. And then if you, you know, if you see that it's not working, then go against the grain, but it's, it's tricky at first. I find it to be a little tricky. You gotta pay attention to the pattern because not everything is just the same direction with the grain. You gotta pay attention. I'm telling you, there's some calyx. Calyx don't only come in the crown and the front hairline. They, they're back there too. You gotta stay. You gotta steer clear. It's, it's like a minefield when you cut waves. It's a lot of things that could come out of nowhere. Bah! De plotate.
see it's this is not the part that I'm not gonna say this is the part that I don't like necessarily. See, that's the easy part of doing a chin strap. It gets tricky if you put too much tension up here, right? And you and you tap it along, you start tapping, right? It could end up like a curve. So you got, you, you know, you gotta be careful if you're adding too much tension. Don't add too much tension. If anything, you look just a little, uh, and then go for it. But if you pull on that cheek too much, it ain't gonna be a L, it's gonna be a U. Me entiende? And then on top of that, you gotta pay attention to this. You got what are you using your reference points? Are you paying attention to what you're working on? If not, you're gonna have one higher than the other. Now, when you're working on a beard, it can still suck if you go a little lower on one than the other, but you still got some space to you know even it out. But once you're working on a chin strap, you can only go so low. You still need at least at least about an inch of of space of, of the bar of the L. You don't want the chin strap to be pencil thin like that. No, it has to be a little thicker than that. And then when you go too low on it or you just don't, if you're just not paying attention, it could be easily ruined. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting stressed just thinking about this. Look at that. Look at that chin strap. I could tell I'm not paying attention. Back up, Fonz. Back up. What are you doing? It's not looking like a you though, I must admit. Also, tell your client to not chew gum. Sean is going in on that gum. And, and you know, when you're doing facial hair, there's no reason why they should move at all. And all gum will do is make the move. So spit out that gum, please. Please. You look at that. Mira, los tiempos han cambiado. I'm using a hot towel on this one. See, back then, I wasn't doing that. But I've grown a little bit. You see, it's not messy either. Viste eso? I've evolved a little bit. See, in the, in, the, in, in the last few videos, it's been a bit of a disaster, you know, with the barber saw and all. But I've, I've changed my ways. I've been using that gel, the 245 gel. And, uh, Tú sabes, eso me cambió la vida a mí y, y, y también a los clientes. I'm not saying I'm not using Barbasol at all. I use it around the, red, uh, around the edge. In his case, I didn't want to use it. I didn't even want the towel to hit. To, I don't even. I didn't even want the towel to, to get too close to the waves because then the hair frizzes up and it could become a disaster depending on what hair texture the waver is. And yeah, you don't want that. So uh, for the sake of his facial hair, I still did the hot towel because I wanted the shape to be as comfortable as possible. But it's a give and take when it comes to waves. So just keep that in mind. If you're if you're trying to use a hot towel on your client and he or she so happens, wait, why would you use a hot towel on a woman? Not discriminating, but there's no reason why I should, right? No? I mean, I've seen some women with some mustaches, but, right? Look, you know, before you line a waiver up, you need to go lower than what you went throughout the whole head. In my case, if you if you went a two with the grain, go a little bit lower around the, the edge line because you know you want that hair a little bit lower so you can have more defined lines. But it's tricky. Recuerda lo, lo calyx. Do you remember the calyx that we were just talking about? They, they're around the edge line too. And you want to be careful. You want to pay attention to what direction the hair is going. And I don't think he has calyx around his hairline. Does he? 
I think not, but I, oh, snap, hold up, bars, bars, I go against the grain, that's something I recently started doing, yes, I said to hell with it, I'm gonna do it, and if this person, and I'm not talking about Sean, I'm just talking about anybody, specifically waivers, is gonna say something, brother, I am, or sister, I am not the one for you. I am not the barber. It, this is the way to do it. That was that was the way. So I don't even know why I'm using the one and a half with the grain. I don't know. I should have just kept going. I should have brought number two and gone against the grain. I'm not going all the way, but I should have been. Th that's how you do it. That I really feel that's the safest way to do it. You just go against the grain with the lower guard. Or I mean, I played it safe with the three, but I should I should have brought the two. I should have brought the two. And I sprayed it with some hairspray and I came back with the hair dryer and the diffuser. I used the diffuser because it doesn't blow that hard amount of air at the person. It's just right. It's soft. It dries the area up and rakata. Been a while since I said that. But rakata. Le mete mano. You gotta go in and you gotta prep. Remember prep then trim i gotta find a good way of saying this but i'm gonna think about it but you want to prep it up and then trim it up that sounded better that sounded better but i'm telling you guys let's not veer away from this make sure you prep up the hairline by cutting it down lower okay and then by by making sure that if it's greasy and dirty use a hot towel with some with some barber salt it i mean not, it, for me in, in, in most of my situations it works and if not you know use some hairspray or do it both honestly i like both i don't use too much hairspray but it's just enough to get the crispy line just enough I gotta say this. I know there's a lot of people out there that are against color enhancements. Pero tú sabes que I've come to learn that some, not just some, a lot, a lot of clients, a lot of people like it. Now, for those that have been following me for quite a while, ustedes saben, you know, that's not really something I sh I push on my channel, but. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be blind to the fact that this is around. This is something that people will pay for. So you might as well know how to do it. Especially if you start realizing that there's some demand piling up. This and you don't wanna be the person to continuously turn it down or say I don't do it or I don't have it unless it's designs and you're me. Because designs are really not my thing. I mean um, you might get a few a, a few lines out of me, but that's about it because I'm not trying not to do, I'm not trying to be Picasso out here with, with designs. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. But when it comes to color enhancements, I don't think you gotta be a Picasso to, to pull that off at all. Cause I know I'm not, I'm not a Picasso. Pero, si tu haces caso, no tienes que ser Picasso. Pero mete mano. That didn't rhyme at the end. bit of hair fibers to save <laughs> A 
Vamos a hablar de los detalles. Tú sabes, este, algunas veces tienes que enfocarte en no solo terminar el recorte right away. You have to just, you know, pay attention to the details right before you finish the cut. I know, it's been a long ride. There are many cuts out there for us that at, towards the end, we just want to be done with it. If you don't want to just leave the cut without detailing it, I know, it's tempting. You just want to, you just want to, you just want to, undo that cape and just send them on their way i know this i know this but just wait a few more minutes give yourself at least five extra minutes might might be a little bit more than that shouldn't be it shouldn't be 10 but you you gotta give yourself at least five minutes double check everything use the mirror in my case mira i gotta refine the tape a little bit You don't want to just let that man walk like that. No. Los detalles. Maestro, play the tape. Past is in the past. You gotta remember that. But you gotta reminisce alguna vez. Okay.